it's your girl pull up on the scene with Rosie Rose. You don't already know the vibe. I am back. You understand what I'm saying? It's been a little minute. But nevertheless, I have one of my biggest sponsors with me tonight. He was my first male artist interview and pull up on the scene about nine months ago. I'ma let him introduce himself. This is gonna be a great vibe. Shout out to my sponsors, exclusive records, Dare to Dazzle, Money Never Sleeps. Simple store, follow them on Instagram, show love, okay? Follow Hip Hop Streets. My interviews drop on their streaming app for iOS and Android. Show much love, like I said, tune in. What's up, homie? What's up, <laughs> how you doing? I'm good, it's been a minute. It's been long enough to have a baby. So okay, that, that for real, Corbett. Yeah. <laughs> so, tell us who you are. I know who you are, but. You do know who I am. Okay. But it's Yellow Tape King for the folks who don't know. You know what I'm saying? All one word. You can follow me on all social media, Yellow Tape King. Stream me everywhere, Yellow Tape King. You know what I'm saying? I'm just out here working on this music, okay. getting this merch out, just trying to plant this flag every place I can get. You know what I'm saying? So I know, like, you've been, like I said, you've been on my platform before. You was the first. Yeah, that's crazy. Guy artist on there. Anna. That was your first time going on live and you live again tonight. Live, yeah. I feel honored. I yeah. feel honored. You're gonna be like my live buddy. Yeah. Hey yeah. to everybody. You already know, heard it here, okay? Pull up on the my scene. This I'm his live buddy. He my only live. go live up in here. Yeah. You heard that? <laughs> so what you been up to? Um pushing this um single house phone. Um about to push another single with it. Soulful, so I'm gonna do that like kind of in tandem. Oh, you've been working for yeah, just have songs in like different settings and different lanes. Um, I just went and shot the video for Soulful, okay? So it'd be out. What's well, coming out with this? So, um, exclusive, um, pull up on the scene, yeah. Okay. You're like the first person, like outside, the only person that people I really show stuff is like my lady, anyway. You're like the first yeah. person I seen it to outside. I was like, check this out. I know it was dope, and I watched it what, like three times. I told you, like, yeah. the is is amazing. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. Like, yeah, it was so video. yeah, so um, doing that, gotta get ready to do a video for House Phone because that's the single that's like I really been pushing yeah. like the clubs and stuff. Okay, so that, um, and just trying to get better with like the merch and stuff, and like come up with that and like get ahead of the curve with the merch. So, like, that's why, like, now I got the Black History Month stuff I'm, okay. I'm gonna be dropping and. Whereas you have your website, so we can follow you up for your merch. I know you, you know, money never sleeps and everything. Money never sleeps. Um, actually, I took the site down like a month ago because okay. I want to revamp it. Like I want to redo everything and restructure it. But you can follow me, follow the site Money Never Sleeps LLC on um, Instagram, and it's it's there. You know what I'm saying? You can see all all the merch is up there. Quick responses, quick turnaround on whatever you need. We got you, and we got damn near everything. You do. We got a lot of stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's part of the business thought of it, too. I think I want to shrink down on it. Yeah. It gets crazy when you're, like, all, all over, over the place. place. I get it. You know what I'm saying? It. So, and, like, really focus on, like, the marketing and getting everything done. So, I like your hustle. Like I said, we, we've known each other for so many months. And yeah. it's crazy. We're back here again. But the growth, you know what I'm saying? So, I just wanted to catch everybody up from the last time. Like, why did you start doing music? Um... I just loved it, you know, it just, it really makes me happy, you know, like, other than probably, like, being, like, with my family, like, on some real dope-ass family time, it's, like, the most happiest I am, like, being on stage and shit, and, um, I was alone a lot as a kid, so it was, like, just me, like, listening to music and, like, just loving hip-hop, yeah. so I just started writing a lot, and in doing that, it's, like, I didn't care about being like no star being famous or anything it just became like okay i like dope rappers i want to show people that i'm dope yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. and then like yeah. so that's just really what it is and like that's what just drives me now just to be like motherfucker this shit hard yeah you know what i'm saying like <laughs> so where did the merch come in um it was an idea of it was an idea of a group well really like two or three people at first and um wanted to do something to make an umbrella you know what I'm saying? Like, so you can do a lot of stuff that's not just music. Um, some people fall off, everybody don't follow through. You know what I'm saying? Um, I kind of picked up the flag and ran with it because shit, I needed some extra income and the merch made sense. And it's something that I believe in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't sell nothing that I don't believe in. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just can't. I've tried. I suck at it. 
what I'm saying? But I do believe in Money Never Sleeps. I do believe in the concept. I practice it as much as possible. And I feel like it preaches financial freedom to people. You know what I'm right. saying? Especially if you get the real concept of Money Never Sleeps. Because a lot of people feel like Money Never Sleeps is just working your ass off yeah. and not going to sleep. Yeah. And yeah. it's really the opposite. It's really set you going to sleep, I mean, let your money, you know? It, it's, really, mm -hmm. it's really, you know, it's really meant for you to do that. Yeah. For you to wake up, flip your laptop and be like, oh shit. Check my bank account. I, I did this overnight. Pack these bags, kids. We're going to Bora Bora. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we are Let's out. go. Where's Bora Bora? You'll know when you get there. Listen, you know what matter what of fact, you know what? I need, I work gone for two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. Let's do it. Fuck it. Financial freedom. That, you know, so that's, it came in there, you know, me and my lady, you know, it was, it was dead in the water. Like I said, yeah. it was a few of us that was going to do it, and then it kind of, some shit happened, kind of dismantled. Okay. Nobody else really was fucking with it, and like I said, I believed in it. Um, and you kept going? I kept going. You know, I talked to my lady, it was like, I want to do it. She believed in it like I did. Okay. Started with like 24 shirts I got from somebody, mm -hmm. and now we're where we at. You know what I'm saying? We are a lot of different states, a lot of different places. Um, it's moving. It's moving. You know? I love that. You said you have a lady. So how how is having a lady, you know, merch, music, how is that working out? Uh, it's working. I ain't single. <laughs> shit. Oh, um, it's tough. I know, like, she won't ever say it, but I know, like, shit, like, it's times that she probably, like, damn, nigga. You know, she probably, but she loves it, too. Like, she loves to, to be there for me. Yeah. And I guess that's just what works, you know? Um, the gen the, it's genuine. You feel it. Yeah, so it's genuine. It's, yeah. And I, I mean, I think it's, and I balance it. I think I balance it well. Like, I, I make sure everything at the crib is up to par before I do anything. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I make sure everything is in place the way it should Happy be. Happy wife. Happy life. Happy life. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's simple. And then I sneak out late at night <laughs> to go do important things, not thought things. So y'all thought I was going to say something <laughs> crazy. But yeah, man. Listen, if she's watching this, <clears throat> it's not my fault. <laughs> Said it. I have it back. Yeah, man. But yeah, so. And you know, with her being, her helping. So that helps balancing all of the shit. You know what I'm saying? Because hell, half the time I might not even remember stuff. She's like, hey, we got to do this. We got to do this then. That's or cool. what? Or even if she's not saying we have to, she's asking, okay, what do we have to do yeah. next? So then I know. What's coming she up? She asked the right questions. To get so I have the right answers going forward. That's good. So that's always great. She a keeper. She and great. she got life insurance on you, she know. And the accident. <laughs> can't even break her ankle. She'd be like, yes. Check. Man, so what you got coming up this year? Any um performances? Oh um, man, I'm still a little scared of COVID. Playing it by ear with the performances. I'm not gonna lie. But I'll be seeing you by here, you know. I stick and move smart. I stick and move real smart. Like, if you, I could be in the club like 15 minutes, and it seemed like I've been in there like a whole hour. For real, man, I go to the club to work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I go and fucking, uh, what? Hey, dude, I already done talked to the DJ. They don't spend building, your music. I, you know, I've been, that's what I've been doing, building a rapport with these DJs, so I'm in rotation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, building these relationships or strengthening them, you know, because I've always had these contacts, but actually strengthening these relationships. So shit ain't no surprise, shit. We already done talked, hey, go ahead and spin this real quick. I'm finna come in, I'm gonna hit him up before I even got in. Spin yeah. that shit. If I'm in the strip club, or I'm in, you know, anyway. somewhere like that, those are one, a few of them. If I'm not, where I can just chill, I'm just chilling. Do like a little round. Might talk to a couple people just to network on you, some shit. You, I mean, you still have to network. Bounce. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of people feel like, okay, Corrid is around. Everything kind of been shut down. People kind of coming back outside. So it's still big, still slowly. And like you said, a lot of people still scared, but I just feel like you, you gotta keep going. You got, yeah, but you just gotta be smart about it. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, like I say, you don't gotta be in the shit, especially like as an artist. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta be in the shit like that. Cause I don't. If I figured out a way to kind of maneuver, I'm sure anybody else could, it's common sense. If what you going, what are you going out to do? You know what I'm saying? Like if you're going out to like have just a good time, then you're, you know, you got a better chance of catching yeah, that shit. Yeah, of course. But if you're just going in, Making a beeline of what the hell you about to go do and making a beeline back, back to the out. car. That's it. I'm up out of here, man. That's what I do. You know what I'm saying? I've never been like a club person anyway, you know. I'd rather be at the crib with the family, you know? Family guy. 
Okay, trying to make it out here. Trying to make it out Got here, man. Merch, this is for That's another music. reason why I love the merch. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I, like I say, we, it's it's just starting at this. You know, we wanted to be an umbrella. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to leave the legacy behind for my kids. That's you what we all to. supposed to. You know what I'm saying? We supposed to. They supposed to be way better than where we were. You know what I'm saying? You're right. I saw. Um, I see how post the other day is like. You know, the decisions you make now. You know what I'm saying? Ten years from now, is your kids gonna have to pay? Yeah. Either they're gonna starve, or they're gonna eat. Yeah. What What you gonna do? Yeah, and I always, you know, I looked at it like shit. I don't want my kids to, um, when they turn 18, when they want to go to college, they ain't go to college. You know what I'm saying? If yeah. they want to go work for somebody, that's a choice yeah. because that's something that they like that I don't provide. But I want to be able to give them the option of you can just come. Do what I'm doing up under my wing and you will be okay. Generational wealth. Generational Breaking wealth. Breaking cycles. And, and options that a lot of black kids can't afford or they don't have for one reason or another. Shit, right. my, like honestly, like my parents didn't leave me that, you know? So you have to make sure you leave that for your kids. That's yeah. how it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to be. That's what we gotta grind for, right? You're right. So what's the best advice you've gotten, you know, since you started? The best advice? Damn, that's a good question. Ooh. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Oh, shit. Um, I don't, I can't think of, because I don't, I don't necessarily seek advice. I just watch. Okay. From a distance. So I don't, I don't really go to, like, get questions and get advice. Um. I mean... Well, what's something motivational that somebody else has told you? You know what I'm saying? Like, come up to you, see you. You know what? And I, I hate to sound cliche, but it's really a, a Nipsey Hussle on um, Perfect Ten. And it was recent because that album had to come out, what, just last year? But it, it's the truth. You know, like, when he said it, he's like, he's gone through all the emotions of everybody else. Like, you want to quit, you want to get mad, you want to be like, fuck this shit, but you just can't. You know what I'm saying? You always got to have that. You know what I'm saying? And like, it's crazy. Like two celebrity deaths affect my life. Like I knew these people, but it's, and it's like changed my perspective on everything. It affected everybody. It was Nipsey Hussle and Kobe. It's like, and it's, and it's because like, I looked up to them anyway. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So all the, the, the great quotes and things that the teachers that came out after they died, which is like, what the fuck? Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. It's like, Where was all this knowledge <laughs> where was when that? he was, yeah, you you're know what right. I'm saying? It really, you know, stuff like that stuck with me, you know what I'm saying? Like, the idea of Mamba mentality, everybody thought it was basketball, but it's just life. Like, just attack whatever you want to do and work at it, 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 work at it. And it's just what you got to do with that shit. So, you know, Orlando hot with a lot of talent right now, a lot of people coming out. Tell me, like, what's the top three upcoming artists you would like to have a collaboration with in Orlando? Top three I would like to collab with. I want to collab with Pressure. Pressure Dahmer, he's pretty dope. Um, who else? Uh, I know him, and it's crazy that yeah. we haven't collabed because I've known him for like a couple years now. But me and Lotta Key, because I'm sure yeah. he's probably gonna watch his live. We have, we need to do something. And um, another person, a third person. You know, the, the boy Beach. Okay. Cause I need that R&B vibe. Right. I need that video when I put on the silk pajamas. Coming through, you want, you want your lady to be like, hey, hey okay. Hey, I, need, I need that silk pajama video where I, I come through you. with like the all black silk. Okay, you know and I'm a saying? cigar. You know what I'm saying? Big fat, you know what I'm saying? Smoked out. Okay. That, I need that, so I need to, I need to, yeah. Yeah, I need to get, I need to get with that. I hope I you to, see this live. I hope you see it live. I need, <laughs> I need to get on a song. We need to do a song together. For That's sure. dope. So I know um, you pushing house phone. I am pushing okay. house phone. Let's about to vibe to it. Yes. You know what I'm Let the people hear a little some some. Do what you got going on. With I'm about to vibe with you. Let's do it. All right. Digging through the crates, found a beat I can snap on, make that ass bounce up and down like the Dow Jones. Them I'm getting older, used to Mac off the house phone. Hit high school and the church was a trap phone. Digging through the crates, found a beat I 
like it's snap ball. Make that ass bounce up and down like the Dow Jones. Damn, I'm getting older. You said Mac off the house phone. Hit high school and the church was a trap phone. Damn, I'm then snapping, but I swear a nigga on one. Others swear they want it, but I promise they don't want none. I got one, and I swear my lady got her own gun. Pulled out another strap, I swear she got another one. Danny Glover with this weapon, swear a nigga lethal. Money never sleeps, man, I do it for my people. Fuck it, we the best. I ain't speaking as no. Yo, thank you for the free concert. <laughs> <laughs> it was lit. I was like, hey. Yeah, I appreciate it. Turn top. Hey. I was about a truck or something. Hey, man, you know. This is what I do. That's why I got a yellow tape. Okay. Dope. Listen, it is always a pleasure having you on my platform. I love coming Thank you girl. for being one of my biggest sponsors. Money Never yes. Sleeps. Yes. You've been riding with me since day uno. Yeah. You got the vibe, man. Like I said, you was my first male artist on the platform. And it's crazy that that was like nine, ten months ago. Look how far you came. And I feel like I'm nowhere, to be honest with you. Like I, I bet you if you look back, you'll see say something different. You're right. You're right. Listen, you know what I'm saying? Every time we meet, you drop gems. And it's, it's always good because when I see you, it's a familiar face. And I know where we both started. So when I see us out there together, sometimes we bop into the same places. Like, yep. I see you. You know what I'm saying? We're going to make it to the Grammys, to the BETs, to go. the red carpet. It's, it's going to happen. I see it. Work. We coming. Hard work beats talent. <laughs> we coming. <laughs> but thank you for being one of my biggest sponsors. Thank you for always showing love. You no know doubt. what I'm saying? Like always staying true, staying down, supporting. That's dope. No doubt. I got to. Don't forget about the little people because we're going to make it. No. <laughs> you ain't never going to be no little person. But we all going to be out of eye. You're right. You're right. Most of yeah. You're right. So thank you for tuning in. Like I said, pull up on the scene because ain't no scene without pull up on the scene. City to city, state to state, we global and you know it. Manifesting it. Okay, shout out to my sponsors, Exclusive Records, Dare to Dazzle, Simple Store, Money Never Sleeps. Thank you so much. Follow Hip Hop Streets. Tune in. You already know the vibe. It's the girl, Rosie Rose. Hey. Hey, from the back. hey it's you go. Pull up on the scene. You know, we out here, Orlando, Florida. We're in the studio. It was a good vibe. You know what I'm saying? Dope interview. One of my biggest sponsors. Yellow Tape King. We pull up on the scene. Okay, you already know. City to city, state to state, we global, and you already know it, baby. Yeah. VA guys don't play around.